Hey guys, Matt Gibbs here. Um, so I just want to take a few minutes to um, show you something. So in here, I have a couple of pairs of original HJ grip plates. So HJ grip plates are something that people say always and never. And those are two words that I don't like. Um, and the reason for that is because always and never um, are very concrete and don't necessarily signify accuracy when it comes to authenticating um, pieces. So these are a pair of EPAC HJ grip plates with an original diamond inside. And um, these plates, um, the diamond that's set into it has movement. Okay, if you tap on it, you can see that the diamond moves. Okay, and you can't really see it here, but um, the diamond is slotted through this slot, and then the pins are bent out in either direction to hold the diamond in place. Now, depending on the tightness of the diamond, people say, oh, you should have some movement there, okay? And that's true in many cases. But here's another set of grip plates, and these are original grip plates, and this is an original diamond, and this diamond has no movement, none whatsoever. This diamond is in here solidly, okay? And as you can see, it's an original diamond. But there's no movement. So a lot of people say, oh, well, that's no good. If it doesn't have movement, it's probably glued in. Well, I can assure you 100%, this diamond is not glued in. So there is no guarantees or no assurities when it comes to looking at HJ pieces and saying this is definitive, that's definitive, this is 100%, that's 100%. None of that's true. Um, really what you need to do is take a look at the overall piece. Um, if you could take a look at this diamond itself, the gold, almost always 100% gold diamonds are authentic. The problem comes when you start seeing pieces like this Whereas the silver backing, these are repro diamonds, okay? Um, this is a well-made repro diamond, but when you put it up against an original, it makes it a little easier to spot. You can see how fat the uh, swastika is, and you can definitely see the difference 100%. Now, this diamond will fit into an original grip, not super well. Um, this is an original grip, uh, but this is an EPAC grip, and it usually takes the smaller diamond, so this is a larger diamond that doesn't fit into here. Um, but I do have a another grip that this fits perfectly into. So, repro diamond, okay, and here you have no movement. This would have to be glued in, obviously, because there's no prongs on the back of this. It is a repro. The prongs have been gone. Um, but I just thought I'd share this with you. Just uh, some interesting information. Um, I was just playing around tonight and thought I'd uh, give you guys some information. Hopefully this is helpful. Thanks.